This is Best Underpinning and we deal in traditional underpinning. If your house tends to look a little bit like this or if you see walls cracking up or falling apart this one here being sparged up or here we have a blade wall of a terraced house coming apart the render falling off here the lintel pulling away the corners are pulling away like this on top of the wall or your floor getting bouncy and sinking like this and you know you're ready for some traditional underpinning brick concrete and steel that's what we use here we are extending the walls down uh, with concrete behind the shutters this is traditional work this is going to be a new entertainment area here we have the piers already dug out ready for a uh, filling under the wall here we have a bigger job more concrete more steel a smaller job here couple there ready to fill up. Checking under the uh, sandstone blocks there to see that we're in far enough. And here we have a garage going in, back in the house. Uh, so the walls need to come down to the new level. Checking the level of the pier there. Cleaning out under the sandstone there for another shutter full of uh, concrete. And in this one here we've actually got uh, screw piles with caps on them, lifting the walls like we've done here also with the uh, Picton Post Office we've jacked that one up off screw piles which are down on rock so uh, the load is totally transferred down there here we've uh, got another shutter to fill there with a little bit of Rio in this one and our room there pretty much uh, complete just needs a little bit of dry pack on top We've got some uh, contiguous piling going on here. We're doing the last one there between a couple before the uh, cap goes on. Here yeah, we've actually got metal posts under the house, uh, new ones, jacking them up. And here we have a complete wall ready for shop printing. Traditional underpinning, this is what best underpinning does best.